Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Connect and the error 260015. Okay, it's an error code from the Hike Connect. So sometimes you are using the cell phone with the Hike Connect application and you connect to your camera and you get this error because there's some issues with the bandwidth. Okay, I'm just explain what I mean. As you can see here, I have my cell phone with this Hike Connect. And there's the message video playing failed, error code 260015. Okay, as you can see, I have the camera working in the background here with the uh, web browser, all right? I'm just bringing the cell phone closer so you can see better. That's the error, 260015. And then when I click here to reload, it tries to re reload sometimes, it gets stuck and doesn't work. Sometimes it works and then the error comes back. Okay, so it's a random error, okay? This is more related to the bandwidth, to the camera configuration, uh, resolution and things like that, right? Uh, right now you can see that uh, it's working on the background. You can see cars passing by, but here it doesn't work. Right now, for example, there's a car passing there, see, on the web browser, but here it's not, like it's frozen. Let me just zoom in here so you can see better. You can take a look at the watch, for example. It's not working, see? It's stuck on 28 seconds here. Now, here we go. The error came back again. Video playing failed, error code 260015. The same error again, right? So let's take a look here in the web browser so you can see what's happening here. Okay, if I come to the configuration, and here you can see the video settings. So the resolution is 3840 by 2160. Uh, I have here frame rate 20 frames per second and maximum bit rate 8000 kbps or 8 megabits per second, okay? So that's my configuration. And in this case, for the, the cell phone is too much because my bandwidth is not good here, okay? Let me just show what I mean. So if I come here, and test my connection speed. Let's say speed test here, for example. Then I get this link here. I just test the speed. So we can see that's not that good, right? So it's trying to test. Let's wait for a while. So I have two links here. They are different. One is faster than the other one. So this one, for example, you see three, Sometimes it gets four megabits per second. So it's a pretty low link, right? The speed is not that good. That's for the download and the upload. Okay. Here we go, trying to get to trees, choose something for the upload. So basically the speed is not good. And what happens here is that as I can show you here in the diagram, it depends, the camera depends on the speed or of the link, okay? Because here, when the camera connects to the Hike Connect server, it's using the internet link. So my cell phone is here, for example, it tries to go to this Hike Connect, Connect server and it doesn't work that well because the link here is not good. So I can fix the link here or I can go to the camera and change the configuration there, right? So talking about camera, let me just come here and take a look at how much bandwidth the camera is using. So I have the software, that's the net limiter. In here, on Internet Explorer or any other application, I can see how much bandwidth it's using. Right now, it's not using any bandwidth at all, just a little bit here in the Explorer. That's because I'm using here the configuration only. I'm not seeing anything live when I come here to live view. Then I'm gonna see something. You see the Explorer, it's back. And now you see the bandwidth going higher, okay? Five, six megabits per second. That's how much I need to have to work with this camera, okay? I can use five, six, sometimes it spikes to nine because I'm using here the direct connection from the computer to the camera. 
So basically, from the computer to the camera, I have this bandwidth available because the switch works with 100 megabits per second. So I'm using here around 8, 9% of the bandwidth of the link. But for the internet, it's different, right? When I try to use the mobile phone with the high key connect, it's trying to go to the internet and come back to bring the stream. And now, and here I have only around three to four megabits per second. So that's the problem, okay? So what I can do is come to the camera and change the configuration there. So I can use less bandwidth. Let's try this route. Okay, so here I have the camera. And here on the configuration, I can come and change here. Let's decrease this to 1080p, for example, okay? In the frame rate, let's also put something like just eight and save. And see how much bandwidth we need now, right? When I come, it's saved now. Let's just come, come back to live view here and check again how much bandwidth I need now. So now one, one, two, two point something, much, much better, okay? So now I have some room for my cell phone. Right? Let me just try again. So here back to the cell phone. Let's just click again here and try to connect. Okay, it's better now. So let me just minimize here so I can see the background and I can see here. So cars passing by there on the web browser and also here. Looks like it's working. Okay. So that's one of the solutions, right? You can adjust the bandwidth. So your camera is using less bandwidth and you have room for the cell phone using the high key connect, okay? This is one of the solution, but not the best one. Why? Because when you change the configuration on your camera, the local NVR is going to record with less resolution. Instead of using, let's say, eight megabits, uh, eight megapixel on the camera, that this camera it's an eight megapixel camera, I'm only using two megapixel. Okay, so that's not a good idea. So you need to have a different solution here. So let me show you. You come back here to the camera and come back to the configuration. And here, let me just come back to the highest resolution here and also the frame rate let me come back to around 15 is good enough okay let me just save speaking on resolution let me just make sure how much i'm talking about here so basically here i can calculate 38 40 times 2160 it's 8 megapixel okay as I was saying before, eight megapixel for this resolution here. Now it's better because I can record this on my NVR. Okay. And now back here, I have this good quality here with my image, but now perhaps the software can suffer again and give me the error again. Here we go. The error again. And it's hard, having a hard time struggling to work. Okay, sometimes it works. It's freezing again. I see a car here, it's freezing. Let me take a look here at the watch again, the clock. It's frozen here with 21 seconds. It's not ticking as I have here on the, the PC, okay? So basically not working, it's freezing, okay? So what you can do here is instead of using high resolution, change to lower resolution, okay? Let me just explain what I mean here. When you take a picture, for example, I come here and take a picture, okay? So I'm grabbing the picture based on the resolution that I'm using right now. So if I come here to High Key Connect Album, here we go. I have this picture that I just took. Here we go, here it is. Let me just take a look at the details. Here we go, 3840 by 2160, which means it's a picture, picture with eight megapixel, okay, the resolution. So what I can do here, just come back to the software. See, it's going to fail again because it's struggling. 
shows image, but sometimes it comes with the error again. So what I can do is change the resolution here, change from a high resolution to standard, okay? And now it's going to work much, much better. Here we go. It's working, let me take a look at the clock here. It's working fine, you see? It's runny. Also here are the cars. Back there in the web browser, you can see, you can also see here, it's working pretty fine, right? Let me take another picture here again. Come here to the storage. Come back, here we go, the second picture should be this one. Here we go, 640 by 360, okay? Lower resolution. So it's working with this one, okay? So basically, you can change here to standard resolution. Instead of using hard, uh, high resolution, then you can solve the problem. You can also use here the basic resolution. As you can see, basic uses even less bandwidth, which is good. Let me take a picture again, one more time, same process, come back here and see this picture, what's the resolution. Details, you see, 320 by 240. So working with low resolution, then you have everything working, okay? It's pretty fast and no problem at all with this message with the 260015 uh, error, okay? So basically working like this, as you can see, there is a, a solution that is to change the resolution on the camera, but that's not good because it's going to change also the resolution that's recorded locally here on the NVR. Because I have an NVR here recording everything, I prefer to have high resolution the NVR and use low resolution when I'm using High Connect, right? So I just changed there High Connect, which one I want to see, and it's much, much better, okay? I hope that is helpful for you. You can change the resolution there on your High Connect and make it work. And please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.